Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Volkswagen Mods and Maintenance with Kyle Steinley. On this episode, I'll be painting the mirror caps on the Golf black. In order to do this, you will need a couple tools and some supplies. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a can of black spray paint, a can of clear coat, some sandpaper, and a lint-free cloth. Before we can paint the mirror caps, we'll need to remove them from the car. To remove the cap, you'll first need to locate the side view mirror on the car. I know this is a little tough, but I think you'll be able to find it. Next, just to be safe, remove the mirror glass so that when you pull the caps off, you can prevent any scratching on the mirror. Remove the glass by pushing the inner side of the mirror in. Then, place your finger behind the outside edge of the mirror. The mirror is held on by a clip, so simply pull the mirror toward you and it will pop off. It's a little scary doing this for the first time because you're afraid to break the glass, but just give it a little tug and it should come right off. Now take your small Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws under the side view mirror housing. This will help loosen the tabs holding the cap in place, and now the cap will come off easier. Grab the outer edge of the mirror cap and lift up. You'll have to play with it and work it a little bit, but after a little while, the cap should also pop right off. Now that one cap has been removed, go over to the other side view mirror and repeat these steps. Pop the glass off, unscrew the two bottom screws, and work the mirror upward until it pops off. Even though it should pop right off, don't try to rip it or tear it off, because you don't want to break it. Now that we have the caps off, we can begin prepping them for paint. I pulled my car out of the garage and shut the garage door so that no dust or dirt would blow into the garage while I was working. I also set down a large drop cloth to paint on. Begin prepping the caps by washing off any dirt, bugs, or debris that may be on them from driving. I just took some car wash soap and a rag and washed them off in a sink. Now take your sandpaper and start sanding the caps down. I used 220 grit sandpaper because it was all I had, and this seemed to work fine. But you may want to use a grit a little bit finer. Sand the paint down a bit so that when the new paint is applied it will stick to the mirror cap. Try not to dig into the paint with the sandpaper, just scuff it up a little bit. After sanding, I wash the caps again to remove the excess material from sanding. Make sure after you wash them, you dry them completely. You don't want any droplets of water on the plastic when you're going to paint. I ran a lint-free cloth over the plastic just to make sure all specks of dust, lint, or dirt were removed. Now you can begin painting. Take your can of black spray paint and shake it up for about a minute. Lay a light first coat onto the mirror caps and let it settle for about 5 minutes or so. Then spray on a second coat a little thicker and let it dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. Continue applying coats until you are satisfied with the results. I continued spraying for about 3 to 4 coats to make sure the paint was applied evenly and thickly so that it won't chip off as easy. Since the caps are laying face down like this, I had to then stand them upright and spray the inside edge. Apply a few coats to this inner part of the mirror cap, making sure you cover the thin strip at the bottom that will surround the glass, and then let the paint dry for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now that the black paint is on, we can apply the clear coat for a nice shine and better protection against the weather. Shake your can of clear coat for about a minute and apply an even thin coat over the cap. Wait a few minutes for it to settle in place, then apply another coat. Continue applying coats of clear coat as evenly as possible until you are satisfied with the results. Now you'll need to let the mirror caps dry completely before reinstalling them. After drying for about an hour or so in my garage, I brought them inside to let them sit overnight, just to make sure they were completely dry before I put them back on the car. After sitting overnight, the mirror caps should be dried and ready for installation. Slide the mirror cap back into place and snap it down onto the metal holder. Make sure the cap is not loose, because you don't want it flying off when you're driving. Now replace the black bottom piece under the cap and reinstall the screws. The mirror should be sturdy and ready to go now, except for the mirror glass, so simply take the glass and snap it back into place. Repeat these steps for reinstalling both side view mirror caps, and the job should be complete. Now it's time to take some pictures and admire your work. Well that's all for this episode of Volkswagen Mods and Maintenance. This also concludes the seven required podcasts for the semester. I'm hoping to continue producing these Volkswagen podcasts for the future, and I will keep everyone updated on future episodes. Thanks for watching. This has been Kyle Steinle with Volkswagen Mods and Maintenance. See you next time.